When talking about cordyceps for supplementation, there is a distinction that you need to know. There's cordyceps militaris, which again is the one that can be cultivated. And since it can be cultivated, it's relatively economical to produce and it can be used for supplementation. But then there's cordyceps sinensis, which has historically been used, but it has to be harvested in the wild. It only grows high in the Tibetan plateau. And because of all this, it's extremely expensive. And when I say expensive, it's like 20,000 US dollars per kilogram, which makes it pretty infeasible to use that as a supplement. But again, Cordyceps militaris can be cultivated, and luckily it has an even higher concentration of Cordycepin than the wild-grown Cordyceps sinensis. So keep in mind, if you are shopping for Cordyceps supplements, if you see Cordyceps sinensis, chances are it's not the fruiting body unless it's insanely expensive. So you should be looking for fruiting body extractions of Cordyceps militaris.